tool Novatec Rigid Bronchoscope. Uh, this bronchoscope was developed together with uh, our company Novatec of France with Dr. Hervé Duto of Marseille University and it is produced in cooperation with Storz of Germany. So they have a very long experience in producing bronchoscopes and uh, devices made of stainless steel. What's new about this uh, bronchoscope is that uh, before we had for each and every size uh, one complete set that could not be detached. With the new Duto uh, Novatec Proposcope, you have one basic unit, which you can see here, and it connects to all different uh, tubes. The interesting thing is there is a spring, a spring here, with which you can assemble the tubes. Each and every position, you just pull back the spring and then insert the tube and then it fits. To release the tube you do the same, you pull back and then you have it here. It comes here all together with five different attachments, five different tubes. This is the one, the shortest one is the tracheal tube for the trachea and then we have four different uh, tubes for the bronchial. Those are bronchial tubes coming in uh, different color codes. Uh, this is white for pediatric use. Then we have uh, a black one, uh, a green one for smaller uh, sizes uh, stands and a bigger one for uh, stands with a diameter of 14 to 20 millimeter which you can see here on the top. What are the features of this new one? Uh, one of the new features is that we have a relatively sharp uh, angle here with which you can carve off uh, tumors. You easily uh, shave parts off and then via the suction system you can remove those parts. You also have a black line inside here which is new which shows you actually uh, for the optics how far at the beginning of the uh, of the hose or the tube you are already. Also we have here holes on both sides for ventilation and also what's new is uh, we have two markings on the one side it's uneven on the other side it's even markings with this one you can determine determine the length of the stenosis either even or uneven. It also shows you if the if it's the top or the bottom of the of the tube. Now I would like to explain you a little bit more about this one here. This is the attachment for the ventilation. You can uh, attach it to a normal standard ventilation system and you can swivel it, which is quite convenient in the daily use. Then you have here a double port which is good for laser. One you can go in the laser, the other one you can go with the flexible suction. And then we also have injection port, which you can uh, use to put in a syringe and also for jet ventilation you can connect right here. They easily be interchangeable those two. Same like the whole set can be taken apart here from the back part you can insert the optics, a light source and uh, also a video source. Or you also could actually put through here uh, a flexible bronchoscope. You can dismantle it very easily for sterilization, for cleaning. So you screw off this cap here. Then you take off this part and separately you have this one and all these items can be easily sterilized for future use. Next I will show you how to place a stand and using a bronchoscope. First I reassemble it. Put it back together. Put the cap on and put the, the double port on the back and then put it here. 
as you know, we have the various uh, Novatech stands. This one here is the latest generation of the so-called GSS stands. The GSS stands for gold studded stands. As you can see, we have gold studs on this side. There are small particles of gold inside and uh, the white ones, they are made of barium, a chemical element, and uh, they're visible on the x-ray. So you can see them on x-ray. Before we either had transparent or completely uh, white stands, so they were visible on the x-ray, but you could not uh, see from inside if there's a fistula or inflammation on the outside. Here you have the advantage, the stands are visible on x-ray, and you can go with an optic or camera inside and can uh, check the surrounding where, where the stand is actually placed. All those stands come in different sizes. Uh, this is for example the, um, the ST stand and DST stand for so-called hourglass stenosis. Stenosis that have the shape of an hourglass. Then we have the normal TD and TF straight stands. And the stands also come uh, in a Y-shaped different diameters up to 18 millimeter those stands can be individually cut to your uh, requirement you measure the stenosis and then you will cut the stand both sides and then you place the stand with the so-called ton placement set which I should show you next this is the ton placement set, uh, placement set developed by Dr. Hermann Ton from uh, Germany You have this basic unit. Where's the different spray? Very important, actually, if you use this one, that the Novatec mark and the Novatec mark on here is aligned to one side, so that they are on the same side. Not that you put it like this. This does not work. You have to put it like this. Then you take a stand. Use some lubrication. Use this needle, there's a hole on this side, so you can stick the needle in the hole here. Push it down, turn it by 90 degrees until the flat side is on top. That means you don't have to hold here and you can close the stand. Close the stand and remove the needle. Then we have the introduction tube, which goes in here, and the loading rod. So you push the stand into the introduction tube. You go through the bronchoscope. And with the pusher, you push the stand in the trachea or in the bronchi, wherever. The big advantage of the silicon stand is that they can be removed easily. Oops. Even if not placed properly, they can be grasped with the forceps and can be removed several times and then replaced other than a metallic stand. Metallic stand, you haven't placed uh, correct one time, you have to remove it and you cannot place it again because of the introduction system. With uh, silicon stands, that's possible several times and it makes it very easy. That's it. Okay?